Welcome to another chapter of Comments from the Peanut Gallery. If there was ever anybody that was fantastic for presenting an excellent soundbite, it is, was, always, will be Jesus himself. When he said, don't be surprised that I tell you, you must be born again. That born again phrase is probably the most used phrase on the planet collectively over time. Born again. Oh, born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible by the word of God, which lives and abides forever. Have you ever wondered and go, oh, what if it's really true? Born again. What if that's a real thing? And you go, oh, if it's a real thing, well, if it's a real thing, if born again is real, then what else goes along with that? Each child carries the characteristics of the parent source. We got two calves right now that have come from the bull Jackson. Two different heifers that have now produced calves and both of the calves are the same color as the parent Jackson. Oh, there's characteristics from that bull in the calf, okay? If born again is real, which I'm convinced that it is, absolutely. <laughs> there's everything, oh, the whole new covenant, old covenant describing the reality of the new birth, the DNA of God in you, okay? The DNA of God in you, the equipping the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry. Paul talks extensively about oh, the DNA of God in you. Now it's been misrepresented, misrepresented over time. Yeah, I know that. But the reality of the truth, if the new birth is real, which I really believe it is, the new birth real, it's a real thing. It is inevitable, it is impossible for the offspring not to carry characteristics of the parent. We're not talking about natural birth. Jesus wasn't talking about natural birth. He said, except you be born of the flesh and of the spirit, and of the spirit, born again, your spirit self. Your spirit self through the new birth. Where is it? Your spirit self through the new birth. You, spirit you, is perfect, absolutely perfect. Your mind needs a little help and your body might be in tough shape, but <laughs> spirit you, your spirit self, absolutely perfect. So what, what else comes with that then? The new birth, the DNA of God in you. There are things that I am absolutely sure of. This is my opinion. Again, my opinion. I say that <laughs> quite frequently because if I don't, <laughs> They'll delete me and take this off the... Okay, so I got to say my opinion. The DNA of God in you, the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry. Your inheritance, you have an inheritance in you. Okay, you. You have the ability to take the word of God and plant it in the garden of your heart and produce a harvest. Produce a harvest. The DNA of God in you, but the DNA of God in you is ability, characteristics of Almighty God in you, in me. And through the new birth, this is something that Jesus pounded the table over really hard. Through the new birth, all men are created equal. To make of two, one new man, so making peace. To what? To what? Old and young? Oh, there is neither young or old rich or poor, black or white, <laughs> all one in Christ Jesus, the, the one, hes, one, hes. The word is, the Greek word is hes, for the number one. Through the new birth, all men are created equal. Your inheritance, an equal volume, blended portion of our Heaven Father's DNA in each and every one of us an equal volume blended portion of our Heaven Father's DNA in each and every one of us. Each one called, each one equipped, each one empowered, each one anointed. Now the problem that we have, that we're seeing rise up in this country, God, we have such a mess going on. 
the ministry, okay? This thing, ministry. Everybody wants every born again one of us. Our supreme desire is that we do the will of God, okay? That's what we, that's what we want. But where do you do that? He said that he would meet all of our need according to his riches and glory. How is it going to be met except through our brothers and sisters in Christ? That's how the need is supposed to be met. Again, my opinion. He'll meet all of our need according to his riches and glory. Yeah. His DNA in it. Your inheritance will direct the course of your life. If you inherited a what? What? What do you want to? What would you? What would you? Ford Motor Company. You inherit the whole thing. What are you going to do with it? It would affect the course of your life. It would dramatically change it. Well, our inheritance from God is His DNA in us, His ability, His nature, His character, and each of us, every born again one of us, received from Him through the new birth an equal volume blended portion of his nature character in us each one of us you did i did all of us did it is his ability to do and be to make and create and the thing of ministry whatever you do in word or deed do it all in the name of the lord it is not some moronic moment one hour a week on sunday morning that has gotten so sideways, it's terrible. It's pitiful. I went to a church in a box for over 50 years. <laughs> I haven't been, in, been to one even for a funeral for a long time, like 10 years now. But I, I feed on the Word of God constantly, every day, every day. And I'm producing and meeting the needs of those around stuff. I make stuff, build stuff, sell stuff, you know, lots of different wood stuff or steel stuff, machinery, things. But that is using the ability of God in me to, need, to meet the needs of those around. Paul talks about it, I said, extensively in Ephesians 4, Corinthians 12, Romans 12. He talks about, like, oh, for government, for making stuff, building stuff, meeting the needs of those around, the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry. It's a thing that we need to get straightened out in this country because so many people have abandoned their ability, abandoned it, left, inherited Ford Motor Company and abandoned it. So much stuff, like machinery that's sitting idle, like machinery that isn't being used. Use the ability that you received through the new birth. Teaching kids as a teacher, take, here, this is a premium thing, to take the gospel into all your world. The gospel, the too good to be new true news, and that is the gospel, the very heart of it, the new birth, the DNA of God in you. You can change your world. He expects you to change your world. That's what he expects. That's why he that's why he gave into you himself. He gave himself his DNA in you so that you can and do take his ability in you and change your world because you can. Take the gospel into all your world. Now, when Jesus said it to the uh, 11, the 12, the 11, because Judas was already dead by then, and when this famous soundbite was made, you go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And when he said it, if you look where it was, he was really kind of PO'd with them. Because they had run and hid, they had done stuff they weren't supposed to. They were famous for that. Anyhow, they'd run and hid, and he told them, you go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Get out of Jerusalem. And they didn't do it. <laughs> they stayed in Jerusalem almost like forever until it was a pile of rubble, not one stone left upon another, but that's another thing for another time, but for today, huh, through the new birth, all men, male, female, young, old, black, white, all through the new birth, all men are created equal, 
And you can see where we got stuff in our Constitution of the United States, and so much of it, like basically all the concepts, Judeo-Christian value, came from Old Covenant, New Covenant, knowing that we live in the New Covenant. We still make use of the Old, but we live in the New Covenant. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal and endowed by their Creator with certain inalienable rights. <laughs> There's a lot of people that hate the Constitution because it was constructed from the principles of the Bible. But it's truth. It's good. It is the best um, founding documents on the planet. Okay? So, we hold these truths to be self-evident that through the new birth, all men are created equal. And you have the DNA of God in you, and it is your equipping to meet your needs and the needs of those around you. Take the gospel into all your world. Be a good mom, a good dad, a good baker, a good, <laughs> yeah, a good blacksmith. We still have blacksmiths, you know, steelwork, foundry, all sorts of stuff. With the DNA of God in you, you're equipping his inheritance in you fantastic you can shine you can shine so bright amazing enjoy the journey